Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. For a change, let's start the video with a game. I'm going to list down some 90s American cars and you're going to guess what they have in common in the comment section below. This is a 1992 Chevrolet K5 Blazer, a full-size SUV that was built by General Motors. This is a 1992 Chevrolet Caprice, a full-size automobile produced by Chevrolet. This one is a 1992 Chevrolet Camaro, an American muscle car introduced by Chevrolet. Finally, this one is a 1992 Pontiac Firebird introduced by Pontiac alongside its corporate cousin, Chevrolet. By now, you guys would have guessed that the common thing here is the brand name Chevrolet. But let me explain. Apart from the year and the brand, these cars were equipped with the 700R4. It was a four-speed automatic transmission that was launched by General Motors. So, what is special about this 700R4 transmission? Well, this transmission was equipped in cars between 1982 to 1993. It was developed with the aim of improving the car's performance and fuel economy. It was achieved by introducing a transmission system called the overdrive. Watch the video till the end to know more about overdrive. In a normal transmission system, the highest gear produces a 1 is to 1 ratio between the clutch and the transmission output shaft. This is called direct drive. Redesigning the entire transmission with more gears to achieve high speeds would be much more expensive and time consuming. So the overdrive system was introduced. Overdrive is a device which is mounted between transmission and propeller shaft. It is basically used to step up the gear ratio in a car. The device got the name Overdrive because it provides a speed ratio higher than that provided by a normal transmission system. One of the main priorities of luxury cars is a smooth riding experience. So, these cars have automatic transmissions equipped with Overdrive. This is because of its certain benefits. Overdrive helps in achieving a high cruising speed with a low engine speed. It makes less vibration and noise. The wear of the engine and other accessories are reduced on the usage of overdrive. And finally, better fuel economy can be achieved. Overdrive in cars is enabled or disabled by using a mechanical linkage or an electronic solenoid through a button or knob on the gear stick or the dashboard. To avoid lugging the engine, that is, the engine working hard, usually overdrive is locked until the third or fourth gear is engaged. This overdrive is made up of a combination of a sun, planetary and ring gears. The number of teeth in the gears are designed in such a way to obtain the desired results. Let us consider two cases, when overdrive is disabled and when overdrive is enabled. When the overdrive is disabled, the input shaft is connected to the sun gear. Now, the sun gear rotates the planetary gear which in turn meshes with the ring gear. The gears are designed to give a gear ratio of 1 is to 1, so a direct drive is obtained. When overdrive is enabled, there is a mechanism called the solenoid and pawl arrangement which locks the sun gear. Now, the input from the input shaft is transferred to the planetary gear which in turn rotates the ring gear meshed with it. Now, the output shaft connected to the ring gear rotates with higher RPM than the input shaft. This is because of the higher gear reduction ratio of planetary gears and the ring gears. Well, that's it for today's video, guys. Hope you understood how the overdrive system works. We'll meet again in the next one. Until then, bye.